symbols and expressions. In algebra, we use um, different symbols and expressions. And in this lesson, we're going to learn um, just some vocabulary that, that's going to be of use um, as we go through algebra. The first thing, and it's probably the most important thing to know, is what a variable is. A variable. And what a variable is, it's simply a letter that represents a number. Um, you'll see x as a variable, or y, or a, and they can be lowercase or uppercase. It's any letter can be used as a variable, or even any symbol. You could even have have a symbol that looks like this, and that could be considered a variable, as long as it represents a number. And this is useful when um, you're trying to figure out an unknown number, or when you're using a variable to represent uh, multiple different numbers. Um, for example, if you have x equals uh, 3 plus 1. In this case, x represents a number, and what that number is is x is going to equal 4, because 3 plus 1 is 4, so x equals 4. And by the way, this, um, if you have an equal sign, this is going to be considered an equation equation if your equation has an algebraic symbol or a variable it's going to be considered an algebraic equation algebraic equation okay so if it has a variable it's an algebraic equation if it doesn't have an equal sign, so if it's just x plus 5, for instance, that is just called an expression. It's an expression. Expression. If there's no equal sign. And since it has a variable, it's actually an algebraic expression. So it's an L. I misspelled algebraic over here. That's an E. Algebraic expression. And that's if it has a variable. So if it has an equal sign, it's an equation. If it has a variable, that would make it an algebraic equation. If it's just an expression, meaning there's no equal sign, then it would be an algebraic expression if it has a variable. Um, now there's also a difference between an equation and an inequality, which you'll get more into. But that simply means that instead of an equal sign, you may have seen these before, but it could be greater than or less than or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. That Those are called inequalities. Um, so if if it doesn't have an equal sign, that doesn't necessarily mean it's an algebraic expression if it has one of these. That would be an inequality. Okay, another term you might see is substituting or substitution. Substituting. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that your teacher is gone for the day and you have a substitute, um, but it's a similar concept. If you have an expression, x plus 5, and we were to say that x equals 3, in order to figure out what this expression is saying, we could substitute that 3 in for x. So instead of writing x plus 5, we would write 3 plus 5. And that expression would equal 8. 
Okay, this should make a little bit of sense. Let's do another one. Let's, and I'll do it over here. I'm kind of jumping around on the screen, but hopefully you can follow. If we have an expression 2x, now here's a case where x is right next to a number, and that just means that it's multiplication. So 2x really means 2 times x. So you could write it like this, or 2, whoops, that's supposed to be a 2. 2 times x. Now here, let's clean that up a little bit. 2 times x. Now in algebra, you, you typically won't see the multiplication symbol written like that, because that could be mistaken as a variable. Now what we did here, after we substituted, was we evaluated the expression, and that's where the equal sign comes in. So after we substituted the 3 in for the x, we got 3 plus 5, and then we evaluated it to get an 8. So that's, that's another uh, vocabulary word is evaluate. Evaluate. So we evaluated the, the expression for x equals 3. So if you see that in um, a question, evaluate, it, it basically means solve. You can solve that equation. So evaluate basically means solve. Okay, one, one more example, and we'll do it up in this top corner. And I'll change the color. Okay, so let's say we have, oh, I started with the x plus 5. Let's do that. If we have x plus 5, well, let's do the multiplication. So you have the, the 2x, 2x. So 2x, and then I want to evaluate it. So if the question said evaluate, evaluate 2x for x equals 3. So evaluate 2x for x equals 3. So x is going to equal 3. And the 2x just means 2 times x. So you're going to write 2 times, but instead of x, we're going to substitute the 3 in for x. So 2 times 3. And that's going to equal 6. So when we evaluate 2x, for x equals 3, we substitute the x with the 3, and then it becomes 2 times 3, and that's going to equal 6. So your answer would be 6.